All right, so the devs have now provided that survey that they talked about, which was basically in the dev notes, correct? That was like uh, last month, somewhere around there. Uh, they promised us a survey where they're going to ask us questions before they violate basically parts of the game, being adding features we do not want or features that could be very bad. Remember that? Like the things that players got very mad over. Those are the things they wanted to ask questions about before implemented. So today, we're going to go through the survey, see what they cooked up over here. Um, basically, remember, this is the fun, this is probably the final survey between the Annie because it's a four-week update, and that's it. Boom. Anytime, baby. So uh, prepare yourselves mentally and uh, physically because anytime. And a collab. <laughs> what a... Oh, my God. It opened up on my other monitor. So I'm going to hope this crops properly, but half of it's on the other monitor. It's very bad. English. Let's check this first. So English popped up on the other monitor again. Okay. All right. Let's try this one more time. So we need your opinions. Start the survey. There we go. Ooh, and now it's working. Now it's working. How is your, or how do you feel about the overall experience uh, for Nikkei? I'm, I'm going to say satisfied, correct? I'm not extremely satisfied anymore. Uh, just because I'm still, again, this is my only gripe. I don't think players really agree per se. I, I have like probably, I'll say 40% of the community definitely agree with my take here. We need more gameplay. We need some new content. We need something. It is a little bit lackluster. Yes, I'm happy for each update. I'm very, I very much am. I love each update. It's just like solo raids are only end game content per se. It's that and pushing story, which is to me, not a complete game, right? It's okay to be going one and a half years without anything. Okay. Um, but past the 1.5 anniversary part, I'm seeing it right now, right? Where players are starting to get like kind of perturbed, but they're like, give us content, right? Give us something. So we have things to do. And all we've gotten over the last six months basically is just one system. And that being overclock, which was a beta, they're still testing. So as much as they can crank out 10 out of 10 updates, which they do, they do it often, 10 out of 10 updates, but they can crank out content. And that's something that I think players uh, will start seeing. I've said it many times before, but um, you'll start seeing it more and more soon. If they don't crank anything out, it's been, it's been more lackluster there, but character wise, Elegs design, D killer wife and aid, Oh, aid. Uh, based on these designs over here, these two mainly, um, like they're very well designed characters, correct? Uh, Eleg, how do I feel about this character? You know what? Out of spite, I, please, devs. Fit, what, ooh, ooh, I can answer. What aspects do you find about her unsatisfactory? Uh, I like her appearance. I don't like characters like her. I like that. Her character lacks charm. The presentation of the story is inadequate. There we go. Her skill values lack appeal. I just want to wait <laughs> the recruitment of a new pilgrim. Just want to wait for the recruitment of a limited time character. No, it's mainly you made my character butcher, bro. Dude, do something to fix her, dude. I hate it. I'm gonna hope. No, I'm not gonna cope. I'm not gonna cope. Imagine she gets like the uh, what's the what's that what's the word? Uh, treasure real soon and the buffer and then she's on top of the meta SSS tier. Is that straight copium? Did I smoke something before making that comment? <laughs> Who knows, bro? But I will I will include this because it's true. Most players just want a pilgrim or a limited time character, so um, I'm gonna just do that for the for the the truth of the community, right? What is your overall actually no. I it's just you just butchered her. She would have been good, it's your fault. Uh, what is the overall rating? I would have summoned if this if this was an S tier character, I said A tier. Bro, she didn't even get B tier. I missed that hard. <laughs> what? What is the overall rating on the uh, perfect mate event? Because you pushed my character, extremely satisfied. Uh, what are the aspects of the mate uh, event you didn't uh, like? Um, other, please specify. You hurt my waifu. Thanks, guys. There we go. Just want to make that clear. You hurt my waifu. Um, what is your overall rating of the event Boomsday? You didn't hurt my waifu. Plus, it was a pretty fun event. I'm extremely satisfied. Plus, get a like, nice little first look at a new character. I like when they do that. It's kind of a, a cool little thing. So, you at least have characters you're really hyped for and you can't wait for. So, exactly like my character got butchered, your character can get butchered too. It's a great sentiment. And I extremely re I recommend to get hyped for a character so that you get miserable when they release. Because they're going to suck, most likely. You saw it. Moran, okay, got it. PvP, that's it. But... Most of the characters we waited one year for. If you if you are a K fan, prepare to get disappointed. I'm telling you now. Like the characters we waited one year for, dead. The characters we didn't know about just popped out of nowhere. Ten out of ten. You see what I mean? E leg, D killer wife, right? Whatever it is, you didn't know about those characters, correct? Theoretically. So just seeing that now. Uh, Xia costume. It's a cool costume, but you're they're, they're getting very lazy uh, with co uh, costume design. 100. percent What aspects did you find unsatisfactory? Um, it didn't meet my expectations. Like, there could have been so much cool stuff there. But again, it's just personally, I don't really care for that. Like, the Rosanna skin is sick, right? But when they make a good skin now, they charge 60 bucks for it. So I'm hoping that she's probably a mission pass. 
because she's useless as a character, uh, PvP only. So an S tier at that. Um, so mostly they can't charge physically sixty bucks because no one's buying that. <laughs> you know what I mean? For manufacturer equipment, equipment, what do you hope for? Able to convert redundant equipment into manufacturer equipment in a certain. Uh, oh yes. Um, hope that the abnormal equipment from interception battles and other manufacturer equipment can be dropped separately. Yeah. Can decide whether abnormal equipment appears in my company weapons. Yeah, dude. Please decide to do this, bro. Get abnormals out of here. Like, literally, watch. <laughs> I'm going to max out all characters day one. I have enough uh, abnormal to do that 100%. Uh, have you tried simulation room overclock? Yes, and I did enjoy it. Um, uh, moderate difficulty. Maintain the current state. I liked where it was. It wasn't too hard. It wasn't too easy. It, it's a challenge. The point of it's an endgame content, so you better be challenging it, correct? Uh, what is your opinion on the frequen uh, frequency for opening simulation overclock? Setting every two weeks is too frequent. It's too long, bro. Like, you want it fast, no? So, we'll say it's appropriate. I'll say this. Yeah. How often uh, How often do you play Simulation Room Overclock? Um, on my honesty, aren't we supposed to do this daily? Wait, we only had it for a few days. I think I did it, like, a few days of the thing. Not one, like, around here. I don't know how many days I played it. I played it for the first, like, f few days, trying to test it, make videos on it. And then I gave up on it because I'm like, eh. <laughs> Got a little dry uh, after playing it consistently for that much time. If based on the current uh, settlement cycle of uh, Simulation Overclock, uh, daily challenges are added, what is your suggestion? Uh, do not want to add daily challenges. The current burden is heavy. It will give you an incentive to play it. Like, if you don't want to play it, don't play it, right? But if you want extra rewards, it's always welcome. Um, yeah. Uh... Yeah, we'll just go with that. Yeah. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, how eager are you uh, about the recently revealed growth system the treasures? I'm somehow eager. Isn't this supposed to say somewhat? I'm somehow eager. Somehow. Um, what do you pay attention, pay more attention to when it comes to the benefits brought by the treasures? Exclusive scenarios for treasure characters. Oh, could you imagine? They're too lazy. They're not doing that. 100%. Changes in character skills brought by uh, treasures. These two things. Numerical improvements the characters brought. Numerical meaning skill values. I want all four. But this would be the sickest. Why give it as an option? They're not going to do it, right? It's a lot of effort. But if they do it, it's sick. What are your main concerns about the treasures? There might be a huge difference between characters with treasures and those without it. That. Like, imagine making Lapis triple S. That's rough. Uh, and not having her MLB. Uh, three spare bodies are required. Due to the changes in the skill mechanisms, the current functionalities may, be, uh, may become unusable. No, I think those two are perfect, perfectly, uh, like, following community sentiment. Um, regarding the way to obtain bodies required for that, what do you prefer? Maintain the current method, obtain through the permanent wish, add exchange options and gold mileage ticket shop. Oh, could you imagine they listen? I think silver mileage is the current shop. Can be exchanged. Yeah, it would be sick if you can do both. Both would be cool, like bringing old characters um, to the gold and that would be sick. Unlocking through bond levels. Yeah, my balls. <laughs> Adding a new special gacha. <laughs> Yo, you have to be a whale to ask for that. Uh, these three could be sick options, but... um, Yeah. Yeah, you can do it these three ways. They'll be sick. Like, you get one dupe as soon as you, like, level 20 her. And then the other two are required between these two things. It'll be sick. Uh, for the release frequency of treasures, what do you prefer? Um, a quarter. So every three months. Release one per two months. Release around four every half a year. Release two every quarter. So basically, I would say one per two months, dude. One per two months is perfect. We have a lot of characters. We have like 60 base characters, correct? Could you imagine having to buff all of them and be here for like three years? So doing it one per two months is not bad. It's definitely the best. Correct. Six treasures a year is not bad at all. It'll take 10 years to finish everything. <laughs> I would have said the way that I wanted it was um, every three months you release like four treasures. That's what I thought was cool. Yeah, making it per year. Um, basically, after every quarter, you get one. So it wouldn't be that bad, but one per two months is cool. Yeah. Uh, what adjustment do you suggest for the current rookie arena restructuring method? Um... I have no idea about it, so I'll just answer this thing. I have no idea about this, nor do I care for it. 
Uh, where do you usually play Nick A? <laughs> Public transportation, my rear, bro. At home, at work, at school. Nah, yo, saying this is wild. Playing Nick A at school? Could you ever? Uh, while walking outside? Could you imagine? I would never play Nick A while. No, you know what it is? I would never play Nick A here, but I have and do play Nick A here, so. That is definitely a thing. <laughs> <laughs> that is a thing that I've done. So I won't say that you definitely can't do it. I've done it. No one cares, bro. Literally, all right? Who cares? This man's playing this game. Who gives a damn? <laughs> really gives a damn. They're going to go about their day and forget about it. Uh, what info about the uh, the game have you seen? Uh, this, forum content, uh, recommendation on the App Store. I rarely see game media cover this game, unless it's a collab. Uh, YouTube influences co uh, was it video content. Uh, cosplayer contents. I rarely see it. Sometimes on like Reddit they post it, so I see it there. But uh, I gotta get on Nick K Twitter, bro. I don't have, I don't have, I don't have Nick K Twitter recommended to me. I got like, you don't even want to know what I got. <laughs> Dude, Twitter's Twitter's vile. It's like it's just it's, it's vile. Um, these things I don't know. I don't watch much of this stuff, so my fault, my fault. Which marketing events would you like? Uh, Winters, Hot Spring, Hotel, Lucky Draw. Hey yo, this is kind of cool. Uh. Ch -ch 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 Hey, yo, fake me. Uh, that's really all I know about. Yeah. What's your age? What Are you male or female? Uh, what games did you play in the last six months? And which of the following games have you played? Select the letter fly. We have this. What kind of marketing would you like to see in the future? More collaborative items, offline exhibition, local brand ambassador, this, uh, limited character idol group. No. Uh, novel, uh, do we care? Collaboration with IP of other games. Keep answering this. Because this is like the main thing we kind of want. Unless you want anything else. Everything else is kind of cool. But that's 10 out of 10. Please uh, choose your video format. Uh, what is this stuff? Funny gotcha recording. What's that? In-game plot commentary. Fan. I don't know what this is. Uh, <laughs> I've seen so many of these. They're cursed. But they're cool. Uh, what offline event would you like to attend? Expo. That would be pretty cool. Um... Which actually, which, uh, this is all simple stuff, right? Yeah, who cares? Ah, that's it. That's the survey. Not bad. That's it. Yeah. So, relatively speaking, a simple survey, an easy one. Do I get my reward, please? All right, James, give me my reward. And I have 300 gems. There we go. So, yeah, not bad. Survey was pretty solid. Um, for the most part, it asked us pretty good information, correct, to have answered. Because, again, don't want them to mess it up. They mess it up. We deal with it. And then we complain for about three weeks, and, they ho and we hope they respond. Uh, remember, they have responded constantly through a lot of issues. But remember, they also are the ones who never answered about us complaining about liberation. They never even cared to acknowledge our uh, anger <laughs> when it came to that. They didn't give a damn. They said, huh? You said what? Who cares? So remember that. But uh, if they do mess up the treasure system, you have um, the ability to, or rather, before they mess up the treasure system, you have currently this ability now to let them know that I want this way to be handled in this proper manner. Again, you have the time. Do it now. Answer the survey. Have fun with it. Collaboration soon, so prep yourselves mentally, physically, and emotionally for that. Be ready for it. I'll catch you soon. Peace out. Take care. And have a fabulous day. So.